May we have our next contestant, please? Will you come in? Good to see you. Panel, I would like you to meet the Bourbon Street Six. This is a great Dixieland jazz group which is currently appearing at Nick's down in Greenwich Village. This is Dick Gale. We have here Bill Kelsey, Jimmy Hayslip, Buddy Jackson, Bob Coquille, and the leader, Roy Liberto. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to have to explain the rather surprised look on Henry Morgan's face. And it's kind of a sad story. A few weeks ago, the Bourbon Street Six got in touch with us with what we thought was a great idea. They said they could teach Henry Morgan to play the drums, and that after only one or two lessons, he would be good enough to play with them tonight on this stage. So we called Henry, and although he had some reservations about it, he agreed to take the lessons, and Henry, what happened? Well, nobody's going to believe it. Yeah, you'll believe it. <laughs> I could say that they're not a good band. The fact is, they are, unfortunately. <laughs> I found out what I suspected, is you can't kid around in another guy's trade. Drumming looks like anybody could do it. Well, that's why I thought. So I sat down and I started with a muskrat ramble. Mm-hmm. Well, I just made an idiot of myself, <laughs> that's all. You know, to keep a real beat is yeah. much different from hearing it. I can hear it fine. Well, I must say... You get one stick going and one foot, and then he says, now all you do is take the other stick and do it on every second beat, and it blew apart. <laughs> Well, I will say, Henry, that they said you made a valiant try, and they would have gone through with themselves, but they had a little difficulty following all the different tempos and which were playing from time to time. True. Now, we were about to abandon the whole secret, but they came up with an equally bright idea, we think. So, fellas, if you will whisper it to me, we'll show their new secret to our audience at home. The clue concerns something which they did, and we'll start with Henry Morgan. You fired your drummer, and you want me to... <laughs> That's funny, because we were talking about whether they'd ever come up with a secret, and you did, huh? Yes, they come up with a dilly. Well, some of you all do together? Is yeah, that anything? Let's do it together, didn't you? Oh, you did. Something you did? Yes. Oh, uh, did you do it? You know, playing drums is very hard. I tell you the truth. <laughs> Did you do it um, since you've been at Nick's in the village? Yes. yes. Was it today? Yes, you did it today, right? All right, we've lost $20. I have 60 to go. We go, please, to Jane. Did you do this thing to Henry? No. 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 Is, is music involved in this thing that you did? Yeah. yeah. It is something musical. Uh, is it something amusing, something unusual about music? Yes, yeah. I yeah. yes. They said they had a ball. <laughs> Is it anything that will involve us at some time on this stage tonight, this thing that you did? Uh, our, our technical answer to that is always is, is partially. Partially. In other words, it will not involve everyone, but... Does it have anything to do with recording music? Did you record anything? No. no. You didn't. All right, we've lost $40. We have 40 to go. We go, please, to Bill Cullen. It, was, it did concern music. Did you uh, teach somebody something today oh yes. come on now. to play <laughs> you taught like a seven-year-old boy to play the drums and he turned out better than henry younger than that eight-year-old girl no. six-year-old duck <laughs> uh, you taught someone to play the drums did you yeah. Yeah. all right that's right now oh, uh, betsy thanks. palmer please henry meet your replacement oh you're not <laughs> you're, you're. Yeah. We called Betsy Palmer this morning, told her the story. She said she'd give it a try. They rehearsed this afternoon for two hours. So let's open the curtain, please, fellas. And you all can get on the stand, and Betsy, you get at the drums. And we will show you what can be done, Hank. Oh, you're taking your shoes off? All righty. We'll show you what can be done in one easy lesson, Henry, if you'll only apply yourself. Everybody in place? I have to get this going here. You're a six-year-old duck. All right. <laughs> Betsy, what are you going to play? We're going to play the muskrat ramble. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 
All right, now, to establish the beat, somebody's got to count off. Who's going to count off, Me. fellas? <laughs> You're going to count off. Good try. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> said, you know, it'd be a much better spot with Bessie. And everybody said, nah. <laughs> I never would have suggested it if I thought it was going to be that good. <laughs>